In the first weeks of the Biden administration, I reintroduced my Iran Diplomacy Act. It backs the Biden administration's efforts to return the United States to the Iran nuclear deal, provided Iran also comes back into full compliance with its nonproliferation commitments. Diplomacy works. The proof is that by the time that President Obama left office, the Iran nuclear deal had lengthened the time required for Iran to acquire enough nuclear material for a bomb from weeks to a full year. The deal eliminated 98% of Iran's stock of enriched uranium and cut off its plutonium pathway to a nuclear weapon. And it put into place the most intrusive verification measures ever negotiated in a non-proliferation agreement. It is the gold standard. In short, the Iran nuclear deal was working. It prevented war and a bomb. But that did not stop President Trump and John Bolton from blowing up the deal in 2018 and reimposing nuclear-related sanctions. Trump's unilateral decision lifted the lid that the world placed on Iran's nuclear program and raised U.S. tensions with Tehran, bringing us perilously close to a war on two occasions. Since the U.S. exit from the nuclear deal, Iran has taken several concerning steps to increase its stock of nuclear material, and it has denied IAEA inspectors full access to declared and non-declared facilities. The best and the only durable way to prevent a nuclear Iran and a catastrophic war is through diplomacy. However, time is of the essence. All sides should return to their commitments under the Iran nuclear deal, and then we can work to address other areas of concern. Let me be clear. Military action will not prevent Iran from entering the nuclear weapons club. It is likely to spur it on. Only a negotiated agreement can move us beyond the dangerous status quo, an aggressive Iran regionally that is also not abiding by the limits on its nuclear activities.